Hi, I'm Ian Moss from Farm Agronomy and Resource Management. If there were three things we could be doing now to improve the function of our soils, I'd say it would be turn around the decline in soil organic matter, uh, it would be address the nutrient cycling, and it would be thinking hard about what damage we're doing to the soil and the biology and the processes that we, we need to engage to help us get there. Hi, I'm David Lang from Oz Crimper and also regenerative farmer from Moola, just in the foothills of the Bunya Mountains. The three things that we should be doing to improve our soil is one, increasing our, in the hydration, there's getting more water into the soil and more water into the whole landscape. We should be looking to increase our carbon by having growing living plants photosynthesising as much as possible every day of the year and also we need plants that are actually cycling nutrients to actually improve the nutrition and health of our soil. Hi, I'm Alex Nixon and I'm a farmer on the Western Downs at a property called Devoncourt and we are cattle and grain growing operators. Well, number one for us, I guess, is ground cover. You know, we try to have a, a big focus on keeping 100% ground cover 100% of the time, both in our farming portion of our land and our grazing. You know, that's probably number one. Number two is utilising the, the tools that we already have in our tool bag, like zero till planters and stripper fronts to try to leave as much residue behind as possible. G'day, Martin Williams. Uh, I've got Ningen seed graders at Ningen sent from New South Wales. When we're looking at our, at our soils and that, we've got to get our thinking right. And it's a holistic thinking that we're looking at. We want to be looking at the big picture and condensing it all down and then getting it in our head because if it doesn't happen in our head, it won't happen on our paddock. Hi, I'm Sarah Fee from Bear Biologics here in Toowoomba, an agroecologist. Well, I'd really like people to really connect that it's living. It's a living entity. So if they can think of what makes comfortable for them as a, another organism. So how do they change their tillage practice? How shall they re-look at the sides, pesticides? How can they start changing those sorts of things to help that living organism function better without those things impeding their ability to actually function. I really do think we need to rethink the assumptions we make about how plants take up nutrients. When you do a lot of plant testing and soil testing, you realise that there's not always a lot of correlation with what's in the soil and what the plants are taking up. And there's a, there's a new science and research around a process called rhizophagy, where it's pretty amazing when you see the videos of, of it. Plants are feeding microbes sugars and that's enabling those, uh, giving the energy to those microbes to go and uh, access nutrients. And then the roots are literally taking those microbes inside and stripping those nutrients from them. It's a pretty exciting uh, new discovery. I'm Dr. Christine Jones from Armidale in Northern New South Wales. Several years ago, we didn't understand that the soil microbiome controlled the functioning of soil. So we have to understand how to stimulate soil microbiome. We understand how to stimulate soil biology in terms of having increased abundance and diversity of microbes in the soil, which means that we need to have increased diversity of plants above the ground because it is the plants that support the soil microbiome. So all a farmer really needs to know is how to have increased plant diversity because that will have the flow on effect of increasing microbial diversity in the soil and soil function depends on soil microbial diversity. I think the probably the most important thing that we can take away as regenerative farmers is to keep something green growing in our soil the, all the time because those green plants are cycling carbon, they're working the, the water cycle and they're working the mineral cycle and that'll all lead to a, a healthier soil, an ecosystem in our soil. If there's one great thing to take away from this is that plants build soil. And what's more, it's even more important than that is it's diversity of plants that build soil. All the great soils in the world were built by plants. One of the key things, because there's so much knowledge that they'll get today, is to look around the room and see this great community to get more involved in and, and keep the conversations going, to keep themselves engaged in this and on this journey.